The sum of the first n terms of an AP with first term A1 and common difference D is given by Sn equal to n over 2 into 2A1 plus n minus 1 multiplied by D. Or we can write it as Sn equal to n over 2 into a1 plus a n. Here, a1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, d is a common difference, a n is the last term. This, this formula is very useful when the, the last term and the first term are known. So we are going to solve a few examples using uh, the sum of the AP. Examples. Number one. Find the sum of the first hundred positive integers. Find the sum of the first hundred positive integers. Now, let, we are going to solve. Let's assume that the sum of the first hundred positive integers is S. Hmm? Then, S is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus 98 plus 99 plus 100. 100 is the last term. Here, A1, first term, A1 is equal to 1. Then, AN, the last term, is equal to 100. N, is equal to 100 also. Then the sum Sn, Sn is given by n over 2 into A1 plus An. So if we substitute the values, we will have Sn is equal to 100, n is 100, over 2, into a1 is 1, plus a n, 100. So we have 100 over 2, into 1 plus 100. So if we divide at this point, we will have 100 by 2 is 50, 50 into 1 plus 100. Now we are going to multiply out 50 times 1 is 50 plus 50 times 100. We have 5,000. So this gives us 5,050. So this is the sum of the first 100 positive integers. Now let's go to the second example. Example 2, John earns 400 thousand dollars per annum, per annum is yearly, and his 
salary increases by fifty thousand dollars per annum then how much does he earn how much does he earn at the end of the first the end of the first three years now we are going to solve this John earns 400,000 per annum and his salary increases by 50,000 per annum. Then how much does he earn at the end of the first three years? Now let's solve. The amount earned by John for the first year, let's call it A1. That's the amount he earns for the first year. A1 is 400,000. Then the increment per annum, let's call it D. D is equal to 50,000. 50,000. We have to calculate his earnings in the three years. So N is equal to three. If we substitute these values in the AP sum formula, we'll have the formula is SN equal to N over two into two A one plus N minus one into D. So if we substitute the values, we are going to have Sn is equal to 3 over 2 into 2 times 400,000 plus 3 minus 1 times 50,000. So, we are going to multiply out to have Sn is equal to 3 over 2 into 800,000 plus 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 times 50,000 gives us 100,000. So 800 plus 100 is 900,000. So we have 3 over 2 multiplied by 900,000. So if we divide, or let's say we multiply out 3 times 9 is 27. Then 3 times 900,000 is... Two million seven hundred thousand all divided by two. So if we divide by two, we have two into two is one, into seven is three, into remainder one into ten is five. So we have one three five zero 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 with four zeros so this gives us one million three hundred and fifty thousand so john and he and one million three hundred and fifty thousand dollars in three years okay 
we have a third example. The third example is to use number three, example three, using the sum using the sum of AP formula calculates the sum of the first the sum of the first 20 terms of the sequence one five nine thirteen and so on using the sum of AP formula calculate the sum of the first twenty terms of the sequence one five nine thirteen and so on so, solution, here, A1, the first term is 1. N is 20, because we are asked to find the, the first 20 terms. D, the common difference, is gotten by T2. Sorry, A2 minus A1 or A3 minus A2 or even A4 minus A3. So if we subtract, 5 minus 1 will give us 4. So the common difference is 4. Then Sn, Sn is equal to N over 2 into 2A1 plus n minus 1 times d so if we substitute the the values we will have 20 over 2 into 2 times 1 plus 20 minus 1 multiplied by 4 so this is equal to 10 into 2 plus 19 times 4. So this gives us 10 into 2 plus 19 times 4 will give 76. So we have 10 times 76 plus 2 is 78. And that gives us seven eight zero therefore the sum of the ap is equal to seven hundred and eighteen okay we are going to end it here thank you for watching this video please like and share and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so